Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome once again to Armello. You guys asked for it so I decided I was going to play a bit more on the channel as well. So we're going to jump into another single player. I was in the process of one but it, yeah, I'll leave it. Right. What? Who should we be? I tell you what, I'm also going to put this out there. If you, After these videos, if you want to see more Armello, let me know what hero you want. I'll quickly show you through them now. We had Thane in the first video, so he's very much Swordmaster, he's all about battle. We've then got Saina from one of the Bear Clans, she's a little bit more of like, uh, uses sort of her like her spirit to fight magic and things like that, so she's more about like using some magic-esque stuff, she, so basically she's more inclined towards to go the purifier victory sort of idea. We also have Brun, which is also one of my favourites. I love this guy. He is a bit of an all-rounder, honestly. He's kind of good. He suffers a little bit on the wits and spirit, but you can kind of counteract that pretty easy. We got River, who is probably... My, maybe my favourite character. Maybe. I like her a lot, because she gets to shoot people with a bow before she initiates battle. So she can get a free one damage to someone, and they can't do anything about it. Which will result quite a lot in you literally just instantly killing them. Which is pretty awesome. Right, we also have Mercurio. So he's a bit of a scoundrel, as it says over here. So he has a habit of, he steals a lot of gold, uses a lot of like traps and things like that. We also have Amber. She's more about exploration. Again, very good all rounder, not great in a fight though. We also have Zosha. She goes into stealth quite a lot, so she's very weak, though. Uh, her health is really bad, so she dies a lot, unless you can get away with it. But she can very easily sneak in. If she can stay in woods, and then in night she's kind of free to move, you can pretty much stay in stealth the whole game, so people don't quite know what you're up to. So it's kind of good for that. And then we have Barnaby. I do like Barnaby, because he's the only character who can actually swap out equipment pretty much as and whenever he wants. And he takes away all the gold value afterwards, so you can just keep, once you've swapped them out, you can then just keep swapping them back and forth. It's kind of great. I think for this one, I'm going to do River, because she's my favourite. So we're going to do a bit of River. We did Thane last time, so we'll do River, and then we've done the two wolves on video. And then maybe you guys can pick between the others, if you if you want to see more. That's entirely up to you. Right, let's carry on. So it's going to be the two wolves versus the two bears as well, apparently. Right, so we can either get, from the rings that I've unlocked... Gain one magic for any kill in battle. That's not that great. Gain stealth on mountains day and night. See, that's quite handy. And we can't have the others, so I might as well take that one, honestly. Right, we have a lot more of these. So we can start the game with two prestige, which instant makes us the prestige leader at the start, which is very handy. Uh, it means that we can kind of take control a little bit on that pretty early on. So we can try and get the, the king's choices to be more in our favour rather than someone else's. Game on health at dusk, that's pretty awesome. Just because it, well, because it keeps healing you, it's just an extra heal that you can have that's guaranteed, which is pretty nice. One spirit, one wit, one body, or one fight. I mean, a fight, a body, and wit isn't too bad. I mean, it's not great. I'm tempted to take another spirit just to even her all out, but at the same time, I'm also tempted to take a wit because wit lets me hold more cards. Uh, I think we're going to take the prestige, though. We're going to take Prestige Leader right from the very beginning. Oh, my headphones went really loud then. Hopefully that didn't come through the mic. Probably did, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Right. It is time to see what we can do. Right, let's have a look. What quest have we got? So we can try and get a... Where and never retreat. That's pretty awesome. We can get the brilliant fool. Two dice, extra two dice on perils. That's very good. I think we're going to go for that though. That that breastplate sounds good. Always guaranteed two shields is just amazing. Honestly, at the start. Right. So we will head for this village first. I think. We'll claim that. Right. Have we got anything else? We can claim a target settlement for some money. No one else can get to that just yet, so we're going to claim that one. Uh, we can gain a rot ourselves, and then also poison someone. 
once I get an extra coin, I can automatically have a sword. So, hopefully from the two settlements we've claimed, we will be able to make use of that a little bit better. So he can't quite get to that settlement yet, so we get to keep it for the next turn at least. Right. Is he going to go? No? Okay. Right, hopefully we'll this turn... Please don't go and stand on that settlement. Oh, thank God. I thought for a second then she was in range of the settlement. I was like, well, if you go and stand on that, we're going to have a problem. Right, so the king is now too rot. So a rot victory now is already looking difficult. I think I need to turn this down. Because this is coming through really loud for me. So I think I'm just going to knock that down a little bit. It still seems pretty loud, but it's not as um, sharp on the ears now. Right, so we will take a look at a spell. All targets in hand become shield symbols. Okay. Right, we're going to have to go across the mountain, unfortunately. And because he's standing right there, we also have to finish in a swamp, which means I'm going to lose a health, which is not ideal, and I still can't quite get to there. Not ideal at all. Brun's just going to instantly take this now, I should think. Yeah, so he's taken that off me, so... Oh, it was his questing ground as well. Ooh, unlucky for me. And he takes my other city off me as well. You horrible person. Right, so we found our first enemy, which is not the nicest enemy in the world, but he's got five goddamn health. Right, Thane, where are you? You're over here. Just kind of dancing around this. Sina, we know you're here-ish. Did I just get given a rot then? No, it just very, very nearly killed me. You horrible, horrible person. I don't believe that. I'm already down to one health and they're trying to kill me already. I still get prestige loader. Uh, prestige loader? Leader. King decrees that taxes are due. Everyone pays the king two gold. Anyone who can't loses the prestige. Uh, I can only just. The Inquisitors hold across the land. Any hero with rot suffers one prestige. Right. I don't have rot, so I don't care about that one. So we will do that. We will do that. I can't talk today, it seems. I took a little while to load. That was weird. I had a horrible feeling it crashed then. Right. Now he's night to get to move. That's it. Move, move, move. Right. There we go. So we want to go over here. And we're going to be risking one of our prestige for this. So we're going to give it a risk. And we failed. So we lose a prestige, which is not good. But I think we actually also gain a prestige anyway. So we kind of actually don't lose anything. So, I mean, there's that to it. I am not liking the fact that we have no gold and only one health. I should be able to get over here and at least gain one health back though. So I'm not quite on death's door anymore. Right, let's see what other quests we've got. A mirror cape. In battle, copy the effect of an opponent's item. Okay, that sounds really good. In battle, one sword or shield for each sword and shield item equipped. So because I've got a sword, it would give me a sword automatically. That's kind of useful, but I think that mirror cape sounds just kind of awesome. So, quite a distance away. Right. Old Thane there is having some difficulty with these. Uh, there you go, he dies, and he gains two rot for that. So he is now going to be suffering heavily at the hands of these Banes because because he becomes a rock creature. The uh, the Banes get an extra two dice against him at the minute. So he's going to be suffering tremendously. Night time, which means more Banes and more rock for the king. Way and a spirit stone spawned on us, so we instantly get a spirit stone as well. We just collect that because we're there. Fantastic. Right. Oh, 
Okay. Let's have a look how they're getting on over here. Ooh, Brun's... See, now Brun has one health left, so this is the point where... If I could get next to him so I could take one shot, it would have been useful. He's just got a health back, though, so it's not too great now. In battle, get one shield. I need two gold for it, though. And another one. I need more gold. I need a lot more gold to start coming in. Now, I could go and take on this peril to try and get some gold, but I feel like that's a bad idea. So I'm going to try exploring and hope for some gold. Oh, we got away with it. We got a bit of gold in the back pocket, which is nice. Now you see, I could actually um, put down these mercenaries somewhere to make someone lose an action point. And if they fail the peril, they lose an action point and two health. I mean, that's that's kind of great for me. If I can hit the right person with it. I think just in case for now, we're also going to drop a shield on. Just so that I know I've got that. I've got that little bit of safety there. Because I'm in an area of a map where I've got a lot of banes around. And I'm quite concerned by the fact that Brun's around here as well. Oh, he's going for the bane. Uh, he kills the bane. But he dies himself. So there we go. And he loses some... Well, he loses prestige, and he becomes a rock creature as well. Kinda great. We're doing good at the minute. Ooh, Thane just killed Sina. So Sina's just lost prestige as well. Kinda, again, kinda great for us. And now he's coming straight towards me. It's not really what I want. I don't really want to be having a fight with Thane. Because Thane will probably ruin my life. You know what? I'm gonna just take these headphones off. Ugh. They're just they're just not working for me at the minute. Right. Oh, it suddenly seems very quiet. All right, I'm still the prestige leader. Only just though. So decrees he's backing the underdog. The hero with the lowest prestige gains a treasure. Demands a bloodbath. All bounties are now worth plus one gold and plus one prestige until the end of the game. We're gonna take that one. That anyone now who becomes wanted is going to be worth much more money and more prestige as well. So, try that one. And we'll see how we get on. At the minute, it looks like the the um, victory we're closest towards getting is the shards. So, might be that that's what we have to take. The here of Bane being four. There it is. Right, so we can do three, so we can get to here, so we can gain a health back at least. Right, we'll take a magic. Plus two fight and minus one wit until the end of the turn. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here and gain another life back. And that's pretty much all we can do at the minute. I mean, we could put a shield on for now, just in case. But... Uh, I don't know. I'm also tempted to put one of these perils on the city that I own, just in case anyone thinks they've any clever ideas to go and claim it. In fact, you know what? We're going to do that. I'm going to drop a peril there. If someone tries to go and take it, they've got to try and beat the mercenaries, which hopefully will ruin their day. Because I haven't got to go back on it now. Unless I, I suddenly get a quest over there. I'll probably curse myself now. You're going to go right where I want to go, aren't you? Yep. Yes, you are. We now have a problem. Brun has decided he wants to be there. Right where our quest is. Is Thane actually not going to have a fight? My god, Thane not having a fight. Right, Sana, where are you up to? Drawing cards. What are we on? Four health? And gets a follower. Lucky. Uh, okay, back to night time, so more rock for you. More Banes on the field as well. So the Banes probably most likely going to attack Stainer. 
because Sena is who she is, she uses a spirit against it, although she could actually be ev evading just permanently. Alright, let's get a trickery back. That's a hidden trap, that's, that's kind of useful. Alright, we can't afford to put any of these on, so I think we're just going to have to try and fight. We're going to have to try and fight him. It's three health each. Who will come out on top? Luckily, we have to do at least one damage to him first. And then go in for the fight. Let's see how we get on. Right, he has a few more dice than me. I automatically start. Oh no, we actually ended up with the same dice. He's trying to guarantee some results though. Come on. Right, we've got quite a bit of damage there. Is that enough? So far it still is. There we go. Perfect. And we only took one damage. Fantastic. So we kill him. And we only take one damage in the process. Goes to show that one arrow goes a long way. The worst part is if he'd have killed us, I think we would have also gained rot, which could have been dangerous. Oh, I've just realised if I fail this, I'm going to gain rot. Oh, is this worth the risk? Let's just take the risk. I'm looking away. I'm looking away. The eyes are closed and everything. What is it? Oh, fuck's sake. <clears throat> oh, it's against me today. Everything is against me. Right, so now I'm going to start losing health over a small amount of time. Which. Oh, they've put. Oh, well, this is annoying. I've got a peril there, a peril there. Empty space here, but then I'm in range of Brun at full health to come and beat me up. And now because I have Rot, he, I think, is a stronger Rot creature. Oh, no, we're actually equal. Or I can go here, which means I would have to fight the King's Guard, therefore I'd become wanted. Hmm. I'm going to have to just go here and suffer the wrath of Brun when he comes charging over in a second. Oh, here we go. Right, what's what what's you? Apprentice Spell Yeah, sure, let's take the mirror because that didn't end in absolute tr Oh, you see What did I say before? Oh, I guarantee if I put a peril here, that's where my next quest will be. And where was it? Right there. Alright, we both have one rot so it didn't actually count. My clan affinity is at night luckily, so looks like I have the Bonus. Alright, how many? I need to get four attacks through. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so we did. We've left him with one health. Now I think we get to attack. We'll get to attack first, which means I should be able to just shoot him. The problem is, is if I, if I make that move, and someone also just took my money away from me, fantastic. If I make that move, I go into a swamp, which instantly kills me. I go one, two. Right, that would probably be the way to do it. I'd have to move there to get my health back, move back to here, and then I could shoot him. But the thing is, is what do I gain from shooting him at the minute? The answer is not really much. I mean, I'd gain a prestige, but then I'd most likely die, because he'd spawn back, come back over, and beat me in the head. And therefore I'd just lose the prestige anyway, and he'd gain it back. So, there'd be no real gain. And both me and him just died anyway, because we have rot. So there we go, I'd completely forgot about that factor. Right, dungeons and stone circles are now restricted, a bounty is placed on anyone who goes near these tiles. The agents of the dart and weave across the kingdom, the engines of misfortune sabotage all perils in the realm. Right, yes, get rid of all of the perils. I think that's what I think that clears all the perils. Or does it make them stronger? I don't know. Oh, I need to move. Oh. Sitting in a beanbag, not the best idea for recording. It does look like it just destroys all the perils. I think. No. It looks like it's actually making them harder. Yeah, no, it made them harder. Minus one die when you face it. God fucking damn it. 
I thought that removed them. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, jeez. Okay, right, well, let's just go and get this town back. <sighs> okay, who who have we got round and what health are they on? You're on four. Where's Thane? Where is Thane? Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, take that. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, right, let's stop me. <laughs> I was slightly cruel, but... You know, you gotta do these things. Right, he now has more power. Ooh, I thought he was gonna get into Spirit Stone then. Right, what have I got? can gain a rot, which is kind of useful if I was about to, like, take on someone else who'd got rot. If I can make my rot higher than theirs, I get their rot as extra dice against them. So... But I don't want it to go too high that I become corrupted. Before if I was going for the rot victory... I think the rot victory is actually the hardest one to get, though. I've tried and tried and tried to get it, and I just can't do it. I can never quite keep up with the king's rot because you have to get your rot to higher than his and then kill him without dying yourself and that is incredibly difficult when you're losing health constantly. How did Thane get all the way over here? Did he teleport or something? He must have. I guess he might be slightly angry with the fact that I um, killed him. Oh my god, can we do this? I don't have enough money, no! I was gonna throw an axe at him and kill him. Okay, we're gonna go here. I mean, I could try and kill him, but I think that would be a dreadful idea. We're gonna lose one health, but then we're gonna go into here, get the stone, and also gain one health back. But we do have to take on a peril. If I do lose this, I lose four magic. That's not too bad. I don't actually mind losing that. We get that, we get that. And we get the moon, so we clear the peril anyway, so it's fine. <sighs> Luckily, my wits are quite high, so it's not too difficult when you only have to get three dice. You have a pretty good chance of actually getting what you need, but... Right, let's see. What do you get? Gold. Okay. He gets the peril, but he doesn't actually manage to do it, so... Take some damage. Only loses fight as well. Interesting. So he now has the same fight value as me. Right, Thane, what are you up to? Is he going to take me on? <gasps> he only has one health. You know what that means. Oh, she's attacking a guard. Interesting. He's now worth a bit more money. I think I'm rather than going onto that tile, I'm going to throwing axe Thane. as soon as I can afford it, which should be this turn. Never mind, Thane just died anyway. He had uh, rot. I keep forgetting about rot. I really do. I need to actually pay attention to that. King has brought a dark omen to Armello. Every hero gains run what? One rot? My god. I can't talk today. Three banes appear tonight. I think everyone should gain a rot. I've got rot. Everyone can have a rot. We all lose health in the morning. Yep, that's no thing. Alright, so I'm up to two rot now. Uh, did she die? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go into the woods, and then we're going to go into here. What's the peril? It's my peril. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I throw that in. I throw that in, and I throw that in, it's passed. I'd rather burn cards to make sure we get a guaranteed effect on it. Let's just try for the mirror cape again. Risking my prestige again. Finally we get a victory. We get our item, put it on there because it doesn't cost anything, and away we go. 
and I will go and hide in the woods, I think. And hope for the best. Right. So that puts me up to five health now as well. Right, what's our next quest that we can do? Bane's Claw. Bane's will never attack you. I mean, that's quite useful. Let's go for the Spirit Stone. We've already started on the Spirit Stone, so we might as well. Okay, Bron just tried to get into the castle and failed. So, there we go. Did he? He didn't beat the peril, did he? No, he died to the peril. If someone smack this, I didn't know this at first. I thought they always got replaced after you got kicked out. But if someone else breaks the peril, you can then use the way they've like, and then they die. You can use the way they've gone in because this peril, where here, here, or here, or here, disappears. So that's kind of awesome because it means I can wait for someone else to get in there, lose the peril, get killed by a knight or possibly the king, and then I can walk in the exact same way. <laughs> Right. If we can get that spirit stone, which we probably won't because it's the other side of the map and Brun's probably going to walk straight to it. If we don't just die to this bloody bane because we're going to give it two extra dice because it has a seven. Mm. Okay. This is bad. He has two extra dice against me. I'm hoping this is going to come in my... Oh, wow. Well, that was awful. Well, I'm dead. I'm very, very, very dead. Jesus Christ, man. Right, oh, well. We died. Extra rot, though. So we're up to three rot, so... I mean, gaining rot like that can be useful, because yes, you die, which kind of sucks. But at the same time... The higher rot value I get when I go against someone else with rot, since everyone else has rot in the game, I actually get an advantage against them, so it's kind of useful in that sense. Ooh, that's kind of useful. Yeah, interesting enough. Alright, let's take a risk in the Bane dungeon. A spirit stone. Holy damn, so if we get this one, or I can get to my quest, and then we go and touch the king, we win the game. There is a potential here for a victory, friends. Did I just waste a move? I just wasted a move, didn't I? Yes, I did. I could have moved again, and I ended my turn in my excitement at gaining a spirit stone. I am... Ladies and gentlemen, what you call an idiot. And then they've placed a bounty on my head. So now I'm worth a lot more money. Oh, now people want me. Right, I have to get to here and complete the quest. I have to risk the quest, which I'm probably going to fail. But I can try. And then I will gain... Ooh, that was a bit mean. Stealing two gold from all of us. Jesus. Right, morning again. So the king's going to lose another life. He's down to three. I'm still the prestige leader. So I get to pick us again. A king angel spreads his tent. All settlements across to become terrorised, declares. Heroes, enemies of the realm. And issues bounties. Right, well, there you go. I've already got a bounty, so now everyone can have a goddamn bounty. Screw you all. <laughs> I'm like a little tip for tat child, because I've got something, everyone's got to have it as well. I've got detention, so you've got to have detention. Very childish, really. But that's the way a board game can be. Okay, what's our... Uh, is that knight going to come for it? No, he only has two movement, doesn't he? Okay. What are you on? You're on four. Right, well, either way, I'm going to steal your city, because... Fuck you, that's why. He's made a Bane Summon in the way of getting one extra rot. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. But if I go over here, friend, that Bane's now more likely going to attack you than it is going to attack me. But then, well, more likely you're going to attack me first. What's it going to be? No, he's going to just walk away. But he fails that one, so he gets attacked by mercenaries anyway. 
<sighs> okay. I need to get here without dying. I then need to break into the castle without dying. I need to defeat a peril without dying. And then I need to touch the king. That is ridiculously hard. Not even going to separate that. That is going to be really, really difficult to do. I really wish I'd taken that um, Dusk one there. And he just came to goddamn Spirit Stone for being there. Oh man, why couldn't it have appeared here again? It would have been perfect. Okay. Now, reasonably, it would be better for me to go straight up here. So I think I'm going to go here to gain some health back because I'm going to lose it again anyway. Then we're going to go to here and then I'm just going to risk going to here. Hopefully I don't spawn another Bane, but I probably will. Of course I will. So that's going to kick me straight back to where I was, which completely defeats the point now. <sighs> I'm having a bad time here. Alright, it's Brun's turn to there. And he does a little bit there. She absolutely smacks him around the head though. So she goes to prestige. Luckily that doesn't quite make her the prestige leader though. I completely forgot about the double bounties thing that I put on at the start. Thane is trying to break into the castle. Can he defeat the peril? He can. Right, that peril is now removed. He's going to try and fight the king. He's got a really good chance of doing it as well. I need to stop him. This is bad because I need to get through these banes. Ah, oh, god damn it, I don't need this right now. We're about to lose. Thanks for the extra dice though. We're going to lose, you don't understand. I mean, some defence would have been at least a little bit nice. Because now I'm dead. Oh no, I'll survive with one health. Annihilated. Way. See, now I'm going to have one health left. So then the morning's going to come and I'm going to die anyway because of the rot. I think 11's the hardest I've ever hit someone in the face though. So... Oh no. We are in so much trouble right now. Bench now have one plus one action plus one fight. King orders his gods to hunt down all heroes under the cover of darkness. Alright, yeah, I'm going to let the knights move again at darkness as well. Just in an attempt that I need them to do as much damage as they can to Thane. I need them to get rid of Thane. I need to somehow get across the map to get that spirit, or at least try and get that spirit stone, or I need to guess where it's going to spawn next. I mean, I got one here. It did spawn here, I think. And I know there was one there. And now obviously Thane just claimed the one that was there. So my guess is maybe this one is most likely. I'm not quite corrupt yet, so I could still technically go there. Oh no. Oh no. Have I got nothing I can do to kill him? Plus one rot on the target becomes poisoned. It's my best bet. I'm out of range. No. Can we get can we get closer? Can we get closer? I've got to take on a peril if I go there though. Oh shit! Just throw the dice, just roll the dice, hopefully we get lucky. Nope! Okay, well I've paid the gold anyway, so it's not a major problem. Okay, and let's... No, I can't do it. I can't stop him. I can't do anything. Oh no! Thane's gonna steal it. He's gonna steal it. He's only got two health, but so is the king. He needs to do two health. 
Right. There's one benefit at the minute. I'm currently the prestige leader. As long as the king also kills Thane, I win the game. So there's that. If Thane dies this turn and so does the king, I automatically win. Okay, well the king absolutely trumps him at the minute. Is he really just going to throw dice into guaranteeing attacks? Okay. Well, so far they both die. King has two health. Yep, they're both dead. So he's killed the king. But he himself has also died. So, I believe that I take the victory because I'm the prestige leader. Awesome kill there by the I do think, I think it's me anyway, by default. Yes? Is it? Yes! <laughs> it's a cheap victory but I'll take it. I will take a cheap victory any day. Destroyer, Shadow, Wanderer, Conqueror. And we've got a little bit more towards the Onyx Ring as well, which is quite nice. Apparently I haven't won a combat victory. I thought I had. Okay, maybe that's something I can try and do next time. Maybe we can try and push that for next time. Right. If you do want to see more Armello, let me know. Uh, if you don't, then that's cool as well. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this anyway. And thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please do leave me likes and comments about it. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe because it helps me out a lot. So yeah, thank you very much. Hopefully I will see you soon. Bye-bye.